and we're definitely going to be doing this again next time my card will not be on file <laughs> because that was real painful i'm afraid to check it out look at my statement nice so i'm trying to make some coffee from this keurig yesterday i didn't use it because um why didn't i use it i'm not sure why i didn't use it yesterday but i didn't we just left the gym and when i tell you that this workout was a workout and a half i feel like the machine was a little bit harder it wasn't as smooth as the machines at planet fitness are so that made the workout a little bit more tough so i did 15 minutes on the treadmill and i did um an incline of 12.5, speed of 3.5, and God, I was dying. I had to stop at 15 minutes, and the last time I went to the gym, I was able to go throughout the whole 30 minutes. But um, this time I was, I was really dying, and I don't know if it's because I messed with the settings or I felt like that, so I stopped for 15 minutes, and then I worked out for 50 minutes after. In total, I ended up working out for 60 something minutes, I think 65 when I looked at my, um, my watch so that was pretty good and that was a pretty good way to start the day i woke up this morning and i'm like listen today's the last day here and it's not even a whole day here because checkout is at 11 a.m and i'm like i'm gonna maximize the things that i paid for this place for because when i was looking for a place i made sure that i got one that had a gym because these last days <laughs> it's safe to say that i like working out and so we've both been maximizing maximizing the gym so i'm like you know what i'll just get somewhere that has a gym and so I figured we might as well use it because I'm paying for that too. Not really, but kind of. So we went there, that was great. And I think we're probably gonna have breakfast. We're trying to make some coffee. We're probably gonna have breakfast and then he's gonna go get a haircut. I'm gonna maybe sleep, I don't really know. Or when I go home, I wanna see if I can unpack the suitcase same time because I don't want it to be there for days and days and days. So we'll see how that goes. But for the most part, that is the plan for today. Is it gonna go exactly how it was planned? Maybe not, but am I going to stress it? No, because the last day, like yesterday, did not go anything like I planned. But... We're going to go out for dinner. When? Later. Where are we going? Okay. Yeah, so that sounds like it's going to be the plan for the rest of the day. We're going to go eat at BBQ's. So we're going to have breakfast. We, woke, we, we worked out. We're going to have breakfast. He's going to get a haircut. I'm going to probably go sleep. So tomorrow I don't feel like doo-doo when I wake up. And then we're gonna go eat and I think that might be it for the rest of the day in terms of like plans for the day. One last look at this hotel room, not even because right now it is a literal mess. Like we've literally been living in it, which what else is there to do? But it's, it's a whole mess right now, honestly. A literal mess, but we're leaving soon. So let me see how this coffee machine works.
vacation is over. I'm literally in shambles right now because why? Why did it have to end? I know. It was so good and like so relaxing. And I feel like going to the gym this morning gave me a burst of energy. So love that. I feel like I didn't realize how much working out at the start of your day really sets you up. But um, that was really, really good. So now we're going to go go get some breakfast. I'm starving. Okay. We're going to get some breakfast. Get a haircut. You sleep for a little bit. Go out for dinner. The vacation is done the moment I checked out just now. <laughs> <laughs> Back to reality. Like driving away in tears. Crying hysterically. <laughs> oh my god. But it was pretty good. I feel like we both needed um, these couple of days to just unwind. And to just enjoy the finer things in life for a little bit. So that was good. And I definitely told him that I think we should we should do this more often you know we work hard and what is the whole point of working so hard and not enjoying a lot of things in life like having a staycation you know um it kind of defeats the whole purpose because what are you working for you know so this was nice and we're definitely going to be doing this again next time my card will not be on file <laughs> because that was a real painful i'm afraid to check it out look at my statement okay but um when i was planning this i'm like i'm literally taking my own wine because i will not be drinking from the bar that these hotels provide sometimes because the charges are going to be astronomical like when they're done at the end there is a 150 dollar hold on my card <laughs> he should have just done it on the other side like that should have got away home there's a 150 dollar hold on my card that he said will like come off in a couple of days or whatever which is perfectly fine but um this was good this was the view in itself was worth the money that i spent and i spent some money okay i did so from here on out i gotta be saving like crazy because i really i really old deed on this little shindig here you know but um it was good it was really good i feel like it was worth it but um, yeah that's all we're leaving sadly where are we, Queens? Yeah. Long Island City is still a part of Queens, yeah? Mm -hmm. mm. So that's where we are. I think you're a little Stop bit. Stop honking at these people as soon as the light changes. Don't be that guy. So we just left the breakfast spot. What is it called? Shut up. I might even show we are bad day. We just love the breakfast spot. It's called All American Bagel Barista. And I'm telling you, this breakfast is so good. It has slowly become like our thing. Whatever we have, like our breakfast dates or like our brunch dates at this point, because it is currently 1140. Like this is brunch. This is typically where we'd go to. And we, I'm always getting a sausage, bacon, egg, and cheese on a croissant. And he will get this like codfish sandwich on whole wheat bread. God, it's good. Just now I, I got one as well with my sausage, bacon, egg, and cheese. And I'm going to eat that later. Or I'm probably going to take it to work with me tomorrow. There's a chance that I might eat it later. But, um, no. <laughs> see that? You see that? He's trying to show you a bad day. So, um, now I'm, I'm forced to go to this haircut appointment. Not happy. Because I don't know if I've said it on here before. But I literally hate the barbershop. The barbers do not know when to stop talking. It's like going to the hairdresser, which is why men don't typically go to the hairdresser with their women because the hairdressers don't know when to shut up. You know, this is why I like the Chinese, um, the Chinese nail shops because they will be talking to each other here and there, but it's almost like a like a the experience is like you're dealing with a robot. Robot. <laughs> American skill me. <laughs> robot. <laughs> robot. It's almost like you're dealing with a robot. <laughs> that knows how crazy it is. Um, they're just sitting there. They're doing your nails. They're barely making conversation. Only when it's necessary. Like what color you want. How short. Is this okay? And they're not even asking you all of that. They're, they shape your nail and they show it to you for you to shake your head or not. You know what I mean? But it's not the experience that you get with a black person where they're just there talking your head off. And while sometimes I like a good conversation, sometimes I just want to get my nails done or I want to get my hair done and be done with it. This is why I don't go anywhere to get my hair done. I typically do my hair myself because I feel like I'm... I, I remember I used to go to this girl to get my nails done and 
she had gotten her body done and she was doing my nails it was late at night too because i went there i i made an appointment with her she, i just told her that i'm gonna come this time and she's like yeah no that's great when i went there she had somebody that she was doing right and somebody was sitting down she asked me if she could just put the nails on the other person i'm like yeah okay cool and i'm sitting there and i left there at like 11 40 at night you know what i'm saying and when she finally started doing my nails she was getting up and showing her friend her body and i'm just like man listen <laughs> i don't care about your body you know what i'm saying obviously i didn't say this to her but i'm so tight because i literally do not care about your body i did not come here for this and this is not professional i just want you to do my nails so i can go about my business and i didn't go back to her since and she was a jamaican girl who did my nails so so good but the experience for me was not it and with me it only takes one bad experience and that was not even the one time because the other time before that too when i went there she was just talking and talking and talking and talking getting up to go do this to go do that to talk to her friend to just a whole damn mess and i still went back because i'm like i really like how my nails look but i'm not gonna have a bad experience at the expense of all of that so i'm like you know what whatever man i'm not gonna go so i didn't go back and it was so sad that i didn't go back because she just didn't know how to be more professional or like didn't know how to just shut up and just do the nails you know so that was horrible it was very horrible so i'm really praying that since i'm dragged to come to this haircut the man is not in there just odin because i'm gonna be tight but luckily for me my battery is charged and i have my airpods so hopefully i could just sit there and exist and it goes by quickly i have a few things to do too so hopefully that helps it but for the most part that's what we're doing and then going home and i already ate my sandwich so and this coffee oh my gosh the coffee was good finally done with the haircut i didn't even go inside but i i went outside to this little beauty supply store that they have right here to see if i could find some more vitamin e oil because i've been using vitamin e oil on my skin and they don't have any well they do have but like the tiny bottle and i'm like the tiny bottle is not gonna last anytime you know how men literally drink your products i cannot buy a small bottle like this it's not gonna last anytime so i just came out but he's buying a hairbrush and then we're gonna go my tongue for some reason feels like you know when coffee like burns your tongue but the coffee that i was drinking wasn't even that hot to even burn me so i don't know waiting again but this time it shouldn't be so long because he's literally just picking up a brush and cashing and coming out of the store but you know this man got it you would think i'm the one in these stores